Hi everyone, welcome to What Does the Bible Teach with Pastor Joshua Olivares. I am Jamie, and in today's episode, our topic of discussion will be about unforgiveness. What is unforgiveness? And how does unforgiveness build up in a person's life? And is it possible to be right with God while we have unforgiveness in our hearts? And lastly, what will happen if this is not dealt with immediately? So Pastor Josh, without further ado, what does the Bible teach? Thank you, Jamie. Now, unforgiveness is the inability and unwillingness to forgive those who have brought hurt, betrayal, breaking of trust, and intense emotional pain either upon us or to those whom we love. And according to the Bible, this type of lifestyle is a violation of the Word of God. In Matthew chapter 6, starting at verses 14 and 15, the Bible teaches us, For if you forgive others for their transgressions, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive your transgressions. Then in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 30 to 32, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Now, Scripture also teaches us that unforgiveness is not only just a lifestyle that God does not condone, but as well, it is a lifestyle that keeps the individual who entertains it away from God. And according to 1 John chapter 2, verses 9 to 11, the Bible teaches us, The one who says he is in the light and yet hates his brother is in the darkness until now. The one who loves his brother abides in the light, and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But the one who hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Now, when the Bible says those who are unwilling to forgive is in the darkness. The darkness spoken of here is a reference to an ungodly and evil lifestyle. And the reason why they are blinded in this darkness is because their hearts are clouded with hatred, anger, and bitterness and a continual entertaining of the past. Now, the Bible teaches us in Mark chapter 7, verses 20 to 23, And he was saying, That which proceeds out of the man, that is what defiles the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed the evil thoughts, fornications, thefts, murders, adulteries, deeds of coveting and wickedness, as well as deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness, all these evil things proceed from within and defile the man. Now, if we notice in verse 21, it mentions the word murders. And in the Bible, murder can speak of physically taking the life of another human being, as seen in Genesis chapter 4, verses 8 to 10, Genesis chapter 4, verses 23 and 24, and Exodus chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. The Bible also teaches us that murder can also speak of causing others to sin against God and bring them to a condition of spiritual death, as seen in John chapter 8, verse 44, where the Bible teaches us, You are of your father, the devil and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. 
whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature, for he is a liar and the father of lies. And lastly, murder is an act of unforgiveness to those who continue to dwell in anger, bitterness, and hatred. According to 1 John chapter 3, verses 14 and 15, we know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brethren. He who does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. So this teaches us that the unwillingness to forgive is an act of spiritual murder, which would imply that those who hate are not only murderers, but as well, they do not know God. And according to 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God, for God is love. And if we skip down to verses 20 and 21, it makes it even stronger. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, that the one who loves God should love his brother also. So it is emphatically clear that throughout all of Scripture, to not forgive is to sin, and to hate is to murder. And therefore, we are never more like God as when we forgive and love each other. As the Bible teaches us in Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 and 13, So, as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, Put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. And that is why I pray that on today's podcast, we have come to answer your questions according to what the Bible teaches concerning unforgiveness. And if you have questions concerning about today's episode or about the Bible in general, kindly let us know and we will do what we can to answer your questions on this podcast, What Does the Bible Teach? This is Brother Joshua Olivares just wanting to gladly remind you that Jesus Christ is God.